So I have to first start by confessing that I don't know much about the Prince Marshalle story. From what I've seen, Prince Marshalle apparently wrote an unauthorized biography of Ubabu Herman Mashaba. Uh, and he went and he told people that it was self-funded. He funded himself for the full publishing and the printing and the distribution of the books. Now, one of the stories that has come out is that apparently he got funding of 12 and a half million rand. Apparently, 12 and a half million rand. I think it was from Herman Mashaba or organized by Herman Mashaba. And that apparently Herman Mashaba actually, <laughs> actually asked him to write the biography. So a lot of the mainstream platforms have asked him, why did he lie? Why lie that this is an unauthorized biography? Unauthorized meaning Herman Mashaba didn't know about it. He didn't endorse it. And number two, why did you lie and say it was self-funded when you were given money? Um, I don't know Prince Marshall as a person. I'm not sure of his integrity, his moral standing, etc. Um, but this doesn't look good for Herman Mashaba, who I believe hasn't spoken yet. If he was involved in the 12 and a half million given to Prince Marshall, if he actually endorsed the book, but pretended that it's unauthorized, it means that his morality, his ethics, his integrity is now in question. And I don't know how that will affect affect. Uh, his campaign as the leader of Action SA. This is the more important thing for me, and this is why I'm making this video. Assuming that this story is true, and Prince Marshalle was given 12 and a half million rand to write the book, I think there's a chance, if it's true, that this might be a money laundering transaction. I've made a video before, and part of it was me explaining how money laundering works. But I want to explain this. If I haven't been given 10 million rand, to publish a book. You don't need 10 million rand to publish a book like that. You don't. There's no traveling around the world, sleeping at fancy hotels, having to book cars, some huge team that you need, some fancy marketing campaign, printing, however. You don't need that much money, is my understanding. My understanding would be that someone would give me 10 million rand to write a book. Not for me to have the money. I might get paid half a million, maybe. I might get paid a little bit of money. I might be paid on the back end when the book starts selling. But it's so that once the sales are in and the money starts coming in, I can clean that money and I can give it out to whoever gave it to me. That's how a lot of these transactions work. A person is given a lot of money to host an event, to do something so that when the proceeds, the ticket sales, when the book sales come in, that money gets cleaned out and it gets given back to the person who gave the money been traveling around Johannesburg and South Africa looking at the exclusive books and all these copies of Andre Tareta that are out there. Was this funded from his salary because he was getting a fat salary from ESCOM? Was this funded by other people? Are, certain, are there certain people saying, Andre, scrape your book, write this book, and then expose the entire ANC and other people. And then on the other side, uh, when the book sells, we will give you all the money. When the book sells, you must then clean that money and give it to us. I don't know. A lot of the revelations that Andre Tareta dropped are revelations that Gaten McKenzie dropped in December 2022. And at some point, I'm going to sit down and I want to read verbatim what Gaten McKenzie posted on Facebook. I think it was a three-part, if not four-part, post in December 2022 before Andre Tareta decided to write a book. Maybe Gaten should have written a book back then because he's an author himself on what's going down at ESCOM. Again, I don't think Andre Tareta is a hero. This is not about him. This is about Prince Marshall and Herman Mashaba and this potentially big scandal for the integrity of Herman Mashaba as a leader. Huge fan of the work that he did under the DA as the mayor of Johannesburg. And to this day, I still want him to be mayor of Johannesburg and to carry on with the good work that he has started in Johannesburg. Work that I think has inspired the work of Gaten McKenzie. Some of the work of Kenny Gnane, especially when you saw him as acting mayor for two days. He's the MMC of transport in Gauteng, but um, of Johannesburg. Uh, for two days, going around illegally occupied buildings, etc. But I'd like to hear some of your thoughts. If the 12.5 million rand amount is true, I think there needs to be some investigation into potential money laundering into this case. Pen you all the black pen. Cheers.